Hello and welcome. My name is Van. Welcome to today's tutorial on speed. And speed will have a lot of uh, different kind of scenarios. And this particular one is a case of catching up because one started off earlier, the other one has to catch up, so to speak. All right. And remember, you can only catch up with a person only when with when <sighs> the person who started later is faster than a the one who started earlier. It makes sense. So that's why sometimes you catch up with your friends, sometimes you don't. It really depends on whether if you are faster than your friend who has already started off. But of course in this case, the person who started later, Mutu, let's take a look at this question. Jack, oh this is um, from 2014 Taunan Preliminary Paper to question 14. Jack started driving from Tau X towards Tau Y at 1340 at an average speed of 70 km per hour. Mutu began driving from Tau X towards Tau Y at 1510 at an average speed of 100 km per hour. At what time did Mutu pass Jack on the road? One and two fifth hours after passing Jack, Mutu reached Tau Y. So at what time did Jack reach Tau Y? Um, two marks. Sorry for um, the typo error here. So let's continue with this question. But of course, as I always advise, is for you students who are watching the video to pause the video now. Think about it, how you're going to approach it. Unless you're dying to hear my beautiful voice. If not, pause it. Because now you're learning. You have the time to learn. But during the same time, you do not have. So as of now, post it. Okay, I'll come back. Or rather, you should come back later. After some time, please come back. Okay, don't dream, don't dream too, too, too far away until you forgot all about it. Welcome back. Okay, in order to solve this question, always start off with drawing the timeline. Okay, with whatever information you are given. Tau X and Tau Y. And both start off from Tau X towards Tau Y. Right? So at 1340, Jack started off driving at 70 kilometers per hour. But of course, you can admire my beautiful car drawings, but please don't draw anything unnecessarily <laughs> during exam time. Okay, but of course, because the teacher has no time to appreciate your drawings, but of course, if you feel that your drawing is nice and you would like to uh, contribute, please do give, um, send it to me so that I can upload on the video. Alright, so no, no, during exam time, just write Jack, that will do perfectly fine. Okay, so let's move off. And then after some time, Mutu began. And Mutu only began driving from town X towards town Y at 1510. So this is the time Jack has already covered a certain distance, right? And what is the time from 1340 to 1510? Please, you must know your time. <laughs> it is one and a half hour later. Okay? So if you are still not clear why I get one and a half hour, please go and refer to your notes, your textbooks on time. Then what is the distance if we know the time? Because we know Jack's speed. So again, applying the formula, distance is equal to speed time time all right so the distance that jack has covered before the start of mutu journey is 105 km kilometers agree yeah so what's next so i need to close this gap because jack has already started off mutu has to catch up has to catch up all right, so where? I don't know. Let's probably just hypothetically just draw it somewhere in the middle of the two uh, of the journey. So remember what I said just now. We need to catch up. And because Jack is also traveling at the same time, so every one hour, Jack would have covered 70 kilometers and Mutu would have covered 100 kilometers. So Mutu traveled. 100 minus 70, which is 30 kilometers more 
than Jack. Agree? So, but of course, I'm not going to ask you to, to list down the next hour, the next hour. Why? Because we can use a simple division rule or division to find out how many hours Mutu takes to close that particular gap. Alright, as what I said just now, 30 kilometers per hour. So I need to close the gap of 105. So one hour give me 30 kilometers. So how many hours do I need? So 105 divided by 30. And that will give me 3.5 hour. Change it to hour and minutes will be 3 hour and 30 minutes. So 3 hour and 30 minutes later or after 15 then will be 18 40. Again, this part I expect students to be able to work out. If not, draw your own timeline. That's easy. Alright, don't don't lose your marks because of that. So now let's move on. Since we know the time that they meet or they pass each other is 1840. Let's take a look. At what time did Jack reach Tawai? Okay, coming back. We already know at 18.40, this is the time when Mutu and Jack meet or met each other. So, we know that 1 and 2 fifth hours after passing Jack, Mutu reached Tau Y. So, Mutu took 1 and 2 fifth hours to reach Tau Y. So, do we know this turn then? Yes, because by applying the formula again, we have time. We have the speed of Mutu, we know the distance between Tang Wai and where the two cars pass, pass each other, which is 140 kilometers. See that? If we know that the distance is 140 kilometers, we know how long it takes for Jack to reach Tang Wai. So, how long does it take, or, or the time taken by Jack to reach Tang Wai? Would be 140 divided by 70 equals to 2. So 2 hours later or 2 hours after 1840, what is the time? Is again, if you are yeah, not sure, draw the timeline, but in this case it's pretty obvious. <laughs> it's 2 2040. That's it? Nothing difficult. Remember in catching up, you can you only use the difference in speed because both are still traveling. Alright, that's it. That's the end. Continue practice and overcome whatever fear you have towards math because after all it's not difficult. Have a nice day then. See you.